Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to study about leeway space of nouns. There is a time in our life when our deciduous teeth are going to be replaced by the permanent teeth. So in this case, the deciduous canine and the deciduous molar is going to be replaced by the permanent canine and the premolars. And this is called as the second transitional period. Okay, when the deciduous canine and the deciduous molars are going to be replaced by the permanent canine and the premolars, that stage is called the second transitional period. So what happens in this case, as you can see that the space occupied by the deciduous ones range from here to here. So we have this much space occupied by the deciduous teeth. But you can see here that the permanent successors occupy only the space from here to here. Okay, from here to here. So we have some amount of space left when these teeth will erupt. Let's see how. Our deciduous teeth will exfoliate. And there is a sequence of exfoliation. Don't go by that animation thing. Okay, I just did it to make it easier for myself. <laughs> okay. And then the permanent ones will erupt. And as I told, they don't erupt together. There is a sequence of that. And you can check out that video, eruption sequence. I'll leave the link in the description box. And also in the cards in the upper right corner of this video. So you can watch the video from there. As you can see, the permanent ones, they came in place of the deciduous one and they have this much of space remaining. So in the arch, we have this much of space remaining. This extra amount of space is called the leeway space of Nance. Okay. And it is greater in the mandibular arch. The leeway space is greater in the mandibular arch compared to the maxillary arch. In the maxillary arch, we have 1.8 mm, that means 0.9 mm on each side of the arch. And in the lower one, we have 3.4 mm leeway space, that is 1.7 mm on each side of the arch. Now you must be having a question in your mind, what is the significance of leeway space? So this leeway space, it is utilized by this molar right here to drift measly. So this molar will drift measly and will help establish the class 1 molar relation. Hence, our mandibular molar utilizes this space to move measly and thus establish class 1 molar relation. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to comment, subscribe and share my video. It would be a great support from you if you keep on sharing our videos and letting others know about Dr. Teeth. Thanks for watching. Stay in touch. Allah Hafiz.